Univet has just come out with new packaging and new flavors for their gels. And today I'm testing them all. Nine point four one miles, nine minutes, three seconds per mile, 141 beats per minute today. Going for a little bit of a longer run so that I could test out some of the new Unived gels, not just the taste, but also how I feel as I'm taking them on my long run today. Uh, went for the salted lime in terms of the new flavor, which I did enjoy. And there's new packaging. There's a litter leash on top that's much easier to open. And it's a little bit taller, which makes it easier for me to use, I think it's more runner and race friendly because it's gonna be easier to kind of pull out of a pocket as I'm trying to go fast. And before I get into my deeper thoughts into the rest of the new flavors and packaging, uh, I do wanna go over some disclosures. Today's a little bit different. I'll do part of the disclosure here uh, in terms of, I didn't have to pay for any of this product. Univet sent this product to me for the purpose of review, uh, but they're not paying me to make this video and they're not gonna get a chance to preview any of my thoughts on this product before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. Uh, now, with that uh, preliminary disclosure out of the way, let's get to my thoughts on all these new flavors. So I did a massive taste test of Univid products uh, several months ago, and some of the flavors I just did not like. After the video came out, uh, Univid did reach out to me and tell me that they uh, know that, and uh, they've already gotten the feedback, that some of the products are harder to open, like the 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 material that they're using are harder to tear open when you're trying to run. And some of the flavors, they are already working on new batches of flavors and formulations. Fast forward to now, I've got the new flavors and I've got the new packaging in hand. And I, for the most part, I love it. I think they've made some leaps and bounds in terms of where they were before uh, and to where they are now. Now, in terms of what you're getting, there's two kinds of gels that they offer. They offer regular gels, which have 26 grams of sugar, a nice amount of sugar. They've got things that you're looking for in a gel, magnesium, chloride, potassium, sodium. Those are all the things I like. Some of them have caffeine, some have more than others. I think with the regular gels, it goes from 35 up to 100, or it goes from zero. Several of them have zero caffeine. Uh, up to 35, 50, and 100 milligrams of caffeine, which I think are good numbers to have. There's also elite gels and the elite gels have more sugar. Pretty much it's, think of it like a double regular gel plus some additional stuff uh, for the most part. Different flavors have different kind of levels and tweaks of the amount of stuff that's in there. But for the most part, you can think of the elite gel as a double plus. And the plus means uh, the regular gels have beta alanine, which is uh, an additive that's supposed to help you uh, reduce muscle fatigue. Um, the elite gels do have more, but they also have uh, sodium bicarb in there as well, which is supposed to help you in regulating your um, muscle pH in terms of think about lactic acid building up. Sodium bicarb is supposed to neutralize some of that, at least from a pH perspective. And so the blood pH is, I, my, my understanding, is an indicator to your brain that you're working really hard. And so if you could turn off like one of those indicators or like mute it a little bit, turn down the volume on it, it's supposed to help you keep pushing really hard, uh, even past when your mind may think, you know, hey, maybe I should slow down. So it helps you keep pushing real hard. So those are the, some of the things that are in these gels. I think from a formulation perspective, in terms of the stats of what's in the gels, you're pretty much seeing the same thing from the first round of the Univet gels. For me, the main story is uh, the new flavors. And so I tested 13 different packs of uh, gels uh, and this taste test go around. Um, and for the most part, there's only one that I didn't like, which is much better than last time. And the one that I didn't like was the Choco Fudge in terms of the Elite gels. Um, it still had like a metallic medicine-y taste that I just didn't find all that good. The rest of them I really liked. Uh, there's two others that I think some people might have some problems with. Again, in the Elite Gels, the Berry Blast, I think that kind of tastes a little bit like a cough drop or a little bit like medicine. And then from the regular gels, 
uh, the black cherry um, tasted a little bit like a cough drop, but for me in a pleasant way, almost like a Luden's. I like Luden's cough drops. I think they taste like I used to eat them like as candy. Um, but that one, I didn't, I, I thought the flavor was good, but I think some people might find it off-putting. And then in terms of the regular gels, the espresso uh, has a very mild coffee flavor and like a hint of medicine-ness that I think some people might detect. I thought it was really mild and I wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me. I would really enjoy having that one, especially since the espresso uh, cappuccino one is the one that has 100 milligrams of caffeine. So that's a trade-off that I'd willingly take in terms of uh, maybe doesn't taste the best, uh, but uh, there is a little bit of caffeine in there, so that's a nice bump. My favorite flavors, I'll go with the Elite Gels first. My favorite flavor from the Elite Gels is the same favorite flavor I had that from last time. I don't think they changed the flavor to this one at all, and um, I hope they didn't, because uh, I loved it before, is the Elite Gels Vanilla Sea Salt. It's a delicious flavor. Um, I love it. it. I felt like it was pretty much the same. Uh, that one is clearly my favorite. My second favorite was one I didn't think I would like, Mandarin Orange orange. Uh, usually I don't like things that are like too, too like sweet, like candy sweet in terms of gels. Uh, and I thought that this was, that's where this one would go. It didn't. Uh, it was a light citrus leaf flavor. So like if you like kind of like Gatorade citrusy stuff uh, or like uh, noon citrusy stuff, this is just right up that alley and it was really, really nice. So I like those two the best. And then the melon sea salt. Uh, that's a flavor like like salted watermelon, people have things like that. I usually don't like those as well because I just find the flavors really confusing. But melon sea salt was really nice as well. Not too sweet. Uh, it reminded me a lot of the Univet Elite drink mix that they have. They have like a um, wild watermelon or something like that. The flavors reminded me, I don't think that they're the same, but they reminded me very much of each other. And I thought that was really nice. So like those three, those are my top three, but all, well, except for the last one, the Choco Fudge, Five of the new six flavors I thought were really, really good. I could easily take a lot of any of those. In terms of the regular gels, uh, the let's call them non-elite gels, uh, there are seven flavors there. My favorite was the salted caramel, which was still my favorite flavor from last time as well. I don't think they changed that in terms of that flavor. I hope they didn't uh, because I've taken that one many times before. I raced a PR half marathon in it last September. Not that that's why I got the PR, but I'm, I've taken it on races with me and I've done well with it. Great flavor. Uh, I hope it's the same. That's still my favorite. Next is vanilla orange. Now, it that one tasted to me like a uh, creamsicle. So really pleasant. Um, I wouldn't mind if they made a vanilla sea salt in the elite and the non-elite uh, size gels or regular gels. Um, but failing that, the vanilla orange is really good. Um, number three after that, dark chocolate mint. Mint is usually a flavor I don't like to eat, but in gels, I find it to be really nice. Like I think there's something about mint, like mint, the real mint is like stimulating, you know, in a way that that's why they think they put it in a lot of gum. Uh, and that effect, I don't know if there's actual mint in these dark chocolate mint gels, but like subconsciously, like that flavor, it like gives me a nice little perk up. So I liked that. Uh, today, the salted lime that I had was actually my fifth out of the seven flavors in terms of my rankings. I'll put all my tasting notes down below if you want uh, further detail about any one of these. The salted lime is nice. It actually kind of reminds me of eating like, uh, sometimes there's like tortilla chips that have like salt and lime on it. That's kind of what it tasted like. I actually think that they could probably jam in a little bit more sodium in these and be a nice tasty snack. Uh, also having more salt in a gel, I think is a good thing anyway. So those are my general thoughts on uh, tasting the new gels. There's new packaging in terms of how you get it as well. It comes in a box. Before it used to come in these like boxes that I think were more designed for like putting them on a shelf so that like a retailer could buy them. Now they're in the boxes that look a lot like the Martin gel boxes. Uh, they're shaped that way. That fits in my closet better, so I prefer that shape of box and I really like the new packaging. Um, it was very easy to get open. The litter leash did its job too. So I was able to take in the gel and get it back into my pocket so I could throw away when I got it home. Uh, something to keep in mind, the consistency of the Univet gels is very different than if you're used to like goos. So uh, the goos are like, it's like eating 
paste or if you've had that craft macaroni and cheese the one that you squeeze the cheese it's not a powder but you squeeze the cheese out of the like the packet that's kind of like goo consistency you just need some sort of liquid to take it these you don't there are uh i think they generally some of them are thicker than others but uh they generally i would describe it as having the consistency of like a maple syrup so uh it can spill a little bit and that's why like having a difficult to open package was so frustrating with the older unit veg gels uh, because you'd have to really tear it open and then it would inevitably spill or you'd squeeze some out and then you'd have a, a sticky thing to put back in your pocket. So these were nice and re really easy to open and I was able to get the gel down very easily. In, it's winter time in Chicago now, none of the water fountains are on so I didn't have any water to take it with, not really a problem. I would say that the gel consistency reminds me most of science in sport. And so if you're familiar with that, uh, I think it's pretty similar. I think science in sport might be still a little bit thinner or more watery uh, or less viscous, whatever, however you want to look at it. But I think that these are uh, less thick or thinner than most of the other gels that I normally run with. But it's just something to remember as you're opening them because you don't want to accidentally squeeze it and have everything shoot all over the place while you're running. But those are my thoughts on the new Univet gels. I'm very happy with the new flavors. I think that the flavors are much improved. I'm very happy with the new packaging. I just think that packaging goes a really long way when you're talking about gels because it's something that you're trying to do while you're running really hard or you're bicycling really hard or whatever it is that you're doing. So I, I think that uh, it was really uh, great for Univet to think about that in terms of the overall product experience. So really happy with how things are going. Now I do want to go into the other set of disclosures for today. One of the things that Univet has announced, uh, well not announced, but uh, let me give you some more of the story. So normally when I get a product, um, the company will reach out to me and say, hey, we want to send you some stuff. Can we do that? And I'll say, yeah, sure, send it. They'll send it to me. I usually don't, unless it's like really expensive and they've been asking. Um, but usually I don't let anyone know. Like once they say they're going to send it to me, I try not to really talk with the company that much because um, then they'll send it to me. They usually have tracking information on there. And so then they'll send it to me. They'll know when I've received it. I usually don't email them about anything or sometimes if they're like, on a schedule, I'll, they'll ask me like, when can they expect like a video if I'm gonna make a video? Um, so I might tell them like generally where I'm thinking it'll go. But I try not to have too much communication because I wanna have the product experience be like more similar to what would happen when you guys get it. And so this time I'd received the product, I think over Friday or Thursday, and I wanted to shoot the video for my long run on Saturday. And I was gonna make the video uh, come out on Sunday. But as I woke up Sunday morning, I got an email from Univet. Amit had emailed me and he had said that he just saw the last video that I posted about the Charity Runner program, uh, the work that you and I and we together as a little running co corner of the internet over here have been working on. And he was so motivated by that, that he offered to not only give everyone a discount code uh, for this video, uh, for the new round of products for the USA website. So I think it's only gonna apply to USA purchases. Um, and not only would you get a discount if you order, uh, but you're, uh, he's also going to donate a portion of proceeds to the charity runner for this week. And so I think that's fantastic. Normally, I don't like to do promo codes with stuff that I'm reviewing because I feel like that's another conflict of interest and that's why I'm putting it in this disclosure section. Uh, but I think this is a little bit different. I've been working with Unived in this similar fashion where they send me products to review. They don't, when no money is exchanged, but they are sending me product and I'll make videos. Uh, and I've had many communications with Amit before, a lot of it in terms of things that I didn't like about the product after I'd made the review video initially. And so we've gone back and forth. We have a little bit of a relationship. Um, I'm really excited that he's decided to step up as a company that's uh, targeting the running community, also helping and giving back to the running community. I think that's amazing. So if you are interested in the product, um, those are all my disclosures. Uh, clearly, there's still some that I think flavors that I need think need a lot of work and some that I think might not work for you depending on your taste preferences. Uh, but I think there's a lot to really enjoy here. The product is much improved in terms of the packaging as well. And so uh, 
if you buy, I think for the next week for this charity runner of the week using the discount code, you'll get a discount. The charity and the runner of the week will get a portion of the proceeds um, from Univet as well. And uh, I just think that's fantastic that we're able to do that. If you have any other questions about the product, feel free to put them down in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I can. I'd love to talk to you guys about it more down there. And I think a lot of you guys have also been using Univet as well. And so um, I think there'll be a lot of people that are able to share some of their experiences beyond just mine. But now before I go, I do want to talk about the new charity runner for this week. And this week it's Yusei Tong, who's going to be running the Tokyo Marathon coming up very shortly here and he's raising money for the Nippon Foundation which provides scholarships to orphaned and foster care children so I was happy to donate $70 of my own money to Yutsei Tong's fundraising efforts and I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more that's all I have for today everybody thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video and I will see you in the next one yo what's going on